So how many parts can actually be made with 3D printing? Well, quite a few. Hey guys, so today what we wanted to talk about is kind of the upper limit of how many parts can 3D printing make. And this is a more difficult question than most people really believe uh, because it depends on the, the part that you're making and what process you're using. So I'm going to very high level and generically answer this question as best as we possibly can. Um, if your part is one inch, generally, one to two inches in size, it can be more expensive or to make it with injection molding up to about a hundred thousand to a quarter of a million pieces. If you were making just a two inch cube, 3D printing is feasibly cheaper than any other process forever because you eliminate the mold costs and you eliminate the downstream warehousing costs, shipping costs, storage management costs, all that stuff. Um, that is only restricted to FDM 3D printing. If you're using resin or SLS 3D printing, that volume is much lower. Mo those processes generally cap out at about 10,000, 50,000 units. If you're making something very small, um, they can go up to about 100,000 or so and still be cost effective, but it depends on the design of your product and how much touch it has. Uh, FDM is really the most scalable for making the most parts. We have clients who have made millions of pieces who uh, never need to switch to anything else because it is cost effective into millions of parts and molding wouldn't even be cheaper. But the design is optimized well and all the rest of it. So what is the limit of 3D printing? hundreds of thousands of pieces. You can make that many, if not more, if you want to go that direction. Now, in order to go that direction effectively, I again want to emphasize design. Is it a good size? Generally, we recommend something about the size of a fist. Is it uh, require any sort of post-processing or weird support or removal or anything like that? Is it automatable? Does it work within our automation systems to be able to be created continuously or do people need to be involved a lot? All of these are questions that need to be asked um, and answered when your account engineer is going over your quote. Um, if you're making something large like this, like these spools, the top volume of it starts to get reduced. If you're making really large parts, the cost effectiveness of 3D printing starts to kind of decrease because you have manufacturing time and kind of the slowness of 3D printing right now. That'll be different in about uh, two to five years. But if you're making the small part, one to two inches, maybe the size of your fist, you can make tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of those parts easy. And even with the larger stuff, you can still hit thousands very easily without dramatically increasing cost. So the only way to really know for sure what the maximum volume is for your application and your part is to get it quote. So down below is a link to slant3d.com. If you want to submit your files through there, one of our account engineers will grab the file, get it quoted, and then discuss some of the options and ways of optimizing the parts so that you can get it mass produced with printing, or if you need to go and explore injection molding or even machining as a better option, depending on what your application is. But the best way to find out is to just go talk to everybody and find out what the options are as far as cost, as far as quality, as far as lead time and downstream costs. Thanks everybody. Again, quote down below if you want to check out how to get your product mass manufactured with 3D printing. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.